from Korea, Kim Woo Jin takes on the world number five from the USA, Brady Ellison. And it's Kim to shoot off first. Well, solid starts from both athletes here in the nines. Brady Ellison's event average arrow has been 9.33, but Kim has a 9.57. How's that for consistency? It's fantastic. It shows that both these archers most of the time shoot a nine or better. But Kim, those few more tens like we saw this morning. Well, another nine there. All in the yellow so far. Pretty well grouped for both athletes, but Kim, well, they're b right next to each other. Where's the third one going to go? First set, and he scored a 10 to finish things off. A 28, a perfect score required from Ellison to tie up. And drifts over into the eight there. Everything quite high there for the American, but Kim strikes first and takes the first set, leads by two set points to nil. First in the second set of the men's individual gold. Not too far off, his height's better now. Well, Ellison's got better, but so has Kim. Can hardly say we're surprised about that. A 10 there for the American. That'll settle him down big time. Once again, always dropping those tens. Both shooting so phenomenally well. Barely anything outside of uh, the yellow rings in the center of the target. You've done this so many times. Now Kim just dropping one into the eight there. And a chance there to open up a bigger lead given away. It's quite interesting. We haven't seen him shoot an eight yet today. And yeah. We'll see how he personally reacts to that going forward. It's good height now. You seem quite humorous about shooting that one. Yeah, you've got to work on developing your uh, your reaction to adversity, and uh, especially so in the individual game, because you've just got no time to recover. You've got no time to reset your mind. So here we go, right into right, set ready. three already. And uh, Ellison scores his first point in the previous set, but still trails by three to two here in the men's individual gold medal match in Shanghai. Yeah. Well, on the line means you get the higher score. And a good start for Brady Ellison from the United States of America. But a 10 from Kim as well. He dropped an eight at the end of the last set, but he's back to his tens as normal. Yep. Another 10, and look at the grouping from the American. He has found a rhythm, he has found his form here in the third set. He's doing fantastically. Let's see how Kim can respond to that. Excellent. Well, just like that, another 10. Perfect scores looking like they're going to be required to take this set. Oh, good. 
good grouping still, but that's crept into the nine. Door open for Kim Woo Jin. Who do you think wins the set? And he's gone into the nine as well, so not quite a perfect score there. The range is clear, the siren goes off, the Americans wait in the crowd. Ellison waiting to shoot the first arrow of this set. Yep. Mm. On the line again, He's shooting still in the same spot. Right there, Very right consistent. There. On the line, you get the higher score. Kim, what can we expect here? A nine, drifting to the left like his other arrows that weren't tense. And first signs of frustration coming across the Korean's face there. Oh, Ellison doesn't respond well enough, though, and a shrug of the shoulders and a little bit of a grimace from the American there. There was an opportunity, and it's gone away. And there you go. One more 10 for Kim, and he will win the match, regardless of what Brady gets. Pressure on. A nine and a 27 out of a possible total of 30 you'd think was good enough, but it leaves Kim needing nine to take the Shanghai gold. Bang! Right down the middle, he gets a 10. Kim Woo Jin has sealed up the gold medal in an absolute thriller. Took the lead early on, the American fought back, but Kim Woo Jin held his nerve and he is the Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 1 first winner of the year here in Shanghai.